We begin this episode the way we ended the last episode. Two sweaty, hairy old guys watching two teenagers make out. The weather is hot and heavy, much like the atmosphere. Make of that what you will. Speaking of hot and heavy... Oi! We're... Well, I have to finish now, the Bittersweet Gamers! <laughs> I'm Wee Square! And I am slightly embarrassed, but I am the opinionator. No, the last <laughs> stuff was great. We probably are just a few minutes away from the Kurisu ending, but it's just after the weirdness of us... We had to stop there. We just had to stop there. Yes, we just had to stop there. There wouldn't have been any point going forward, or we would have kept going with the kissy face noises. Shut up! <laughs> Okay, one of the reasons that we did end it, I, that I thought it was okay to end it and not push to the ending, I don't think it's about to end. Really? I think there's going to be some other development before it gets there. Well, if there isn't, this is going to be one short episode. What I, what I mean by that is no decision has been made. I don't think he's just going to go to the beta world line. Doesn't that, wouldn't that seem weird? Yeah, I guess that would seem pretty weird, especially after all that. Early morning. Akihabara Station. She's going back to America. That was a good movie. Coming to America. Ah, Eddie Murphy. Mayuri to Daru wa ni yobanakute ii no ka? Why are you doing this to yourself? Well, okay. Maybe she just wants to make out with him again before she leaves. Nanda ka, minna ni mi okurareru to tsuraku naru kara. In a way, I suppose. Ouch. <laughs> Sundere me, you are lying. Joke. Temi ageda. Motteke. It's a propeller. Cherish it. Irane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> it's a propeller. Cherish it. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm sure there's some significance to it, but Steins Gate Delete isn't going to tell it to us. Uh, was it one of the gadgets? I don't think so. And then, silence. I bet she's wondering why the F did this piece of crap and me. <laughs> and propeller. <laughs> Just the way he tossed it to her, like, here you go, have a propeller. Now I can fly to America with this propeller. Puts out her fingers, like, spins it. <laughs> Maki say, away! <laughs> No words of farewell. What is it even supposed to represent? <laughs> because what the heck is she supposed to say after I just threw a propeller at her? <laughs> I expected her to be blown away by that gift. Not your best work, my friend. That's okay. We just look at each other. Aomori. That really does hurt. Hmm. But... We share one final embrace. Is that a propeller in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? I'm sucking all the tension out of the scene. I'm so sorry. All of it is his fault. <laughs> Last time, I was sticking up for what the game was trying to represent. And it was a really good observation. I don't want to take that away from you. But that was him. Genki de. I watch her go. Unable to move a muscle. I want to stop her. I want to wrap my arms around her and tell her to stay with me forever. But I can't. This is what we decided. To save Mayuri. To save the future. I'm so sorry, Kurisu. I can't save you. Kurisu will disappear. 
she'll be left behind on this world line. There is no place for her in the coming world. I don't know whether Kurisu hears my words or not. She keeps walking. Stride steady. She's quickly fading into the distance. We will never meet again. But every time I look at a propeller, I'll think of her. Billy! <laughs> Billy away! <laughs> again. I'm glad I met you, Kurisu. I would have been lost without you. I love you. Goodbye. Even after Kurisu disappears from my sight, I stay rooted to the spot. As the minutes turn to hours, I just stare at the station. Uh... Uh, why? Did you typo? That's not my fault. That isn't my fault. Here of all places. Well, so be it. Might cause the tears to fall. Or might not. <laughs> God damn it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the first phase of the Is this the same scene? No. No. Okay. See? I just wanted to make sure. Today is the last day of Komima. Daru wanted to attend, of course, but a little begging convinced him to prioritize the operation, which is the same line, but it's a different angle as far as I'm aware. These 20 days have been madness. It's incredible to think that at one point this lab had a whole eight members. And now we're back to three. memories we made, the experiences we shared. To save Mayuri, I will undo them all. There is sorrow in me and guilt. But still, I choose to erase our memories. I choose to return everything back to normal. He seems to have a lot more resolve in this ending. Yeah, it didn't. He's... Whereas before, in Myri's ending, he was full of self-loathing and self-hatred. Now, this scene is the same with the same words But so it's far a different too. angle, like yes, you said. It's, but, it, but Okabe does look like he's full of resolve. And he's talking more, mm. more strong, too. I do like that it wasn't choosing her. That yeah. it wasn't choosing Makise. I like that even on Makise's ending, they still chose the right solution. In a way that kind of makes him stronger, in my opinion. Yeah, I think so. I'm paying him a compliment. You want to fight about it? <laughs> Aerial bombardment! <laughs> Billy, are you making sounds like you just flew away on your propeller and are now <laughs> dropping bombs on some nebulous person <laughs> criticizing you for paying Okabe a compliment? Yes? It wasn't me. <laughs> Suzuha's mission is irrelevant. I'm not doing this for the future. As long as Mayuri lives, nothing else matters. Daru, Hazimetekure. Yeah, that's more determination than he's ever shown so far. Indana. Ah. 
Okie dokie. Smokey? Well, I was going to say I don't even feel like making a joke at his okie dokie, but Billy did, so that's okay. I always feel like making a joke. They're not always funny. A rare moment of honesty. Cherish it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what do you mean rare? <laughs> We use the 5100 to access CERN's central database. There we will locate the first email I sent on July 28th and erase all trace of its existence. With this, I can reach the beta world line. I look over at Mayuri to see her sitting straight as a rail, pressing her grandmother's pocket watch, pockety, against her ear. Her eyes are closed. Whenever Mayuri wants to calm down, she listens to the sound of that pocket watch. Earlier... I told Mayuri everything. Ah, I was wondering if he was. It wasn't worthwhile to show you poor people on screen, because Mayuri is just not important. Go die. I guess she's come to terms with it, in her own way. The actual work, I've left to Donu. No problem there. As always. He's the guy who can most definitely get it done, so... While waiting for him to finish, I walk into the development room. In the center of the room is the time leap machine. I've made irreplaceable friends because of this thing. And because of this thing, I've hurt them. But I don't want to blame the tool. It's how you use the tool that matters. And I've got to admit, it saved me more than once. But still. I'm going to take a hammer to it once this is over. Once this is over, I'm going to take a hammer to it. We must never make the same mistakes again. Uh, not really the right time for this, I guess. But, but when has that ever stopped us? I just remembered what... <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> Cherish it. <laughs> uh, when Kurisu was saying about the time leap machine that it's just running away... Uh-huh. You made me forget my voice. <laughs> In a way that's kind of like saying... You can't go back, and you can't redo anything. Like she herself said, all of my failures are part of who I am today. Yeah. Even with time travel, you don't get do-overs. It's kind of weird when you really think about it. Well, no, like I said, it, it's not as long as you understand that this is about closing paths off and the consequences of the decisions that you have to make. It's right, I'm just saying that that's not normally something traditionally associated with time travel is more what I meant to say. Well, that's what makes it interesting, isn't it? Oh, I agree. And there it was, the message I wrote about Kurisu's death. This data led CERN to our doorstep. At FB's instruction, Moika and the Rounders attacked. If Suzuha is right, then by erasing this data, we'll escape from Attractor Field Alpha, where CERN dominates the future. That'll take us to Attractor Field Beta. To a world without Mayuri's death. Okari. Oh, <laughs> This time, it ends. Kurisu's face floats through my mind. I close my eyes and take a deep breath. Goodbye, Kurisu. Sori no toki wa kita! この俺はあらゆる陰謀に屈せずお乗りの信念を貫き、ついに、ラグナロックを戦い抜いたのだ。この勝利のため、我が手足となって戦ってくれた仲間たちに感謝を。then he hits the enter key so hard, his finger smashes through the keyboard, through the desk, and, I don't know, like, knocks something off the shelf in the brown CRT store underneath, and he comes up and beats him up. That got away from me there at the end. One press of this key, and Kurisu will die. I firmly grip my coat at the shoulder. God, I'm really tense to see, is there going to be something different? 
Mm. Right where it's been stitched together with jagged pink thread. I wished for Mayuri to live and Kurisu to die. That is the truth. And I must never forget it. This is. This is the choice of Okabe Rintaro. I press the enter key. Ah! And immediately, I hear the lab door open. It's Kurisu. <laughs> Sayonara. Oh! Why? Why? Why has she come back? Before I can ask, the world distorts. The timeline is being rewritten. Reading Steiner. Little by little, color returns. She was standing there just a moment ago. My assistant, Christina. Makise Kurisu. Now she's gone. Vanished like a dream. In fact, nobody's here. Everything is where it should be. It looks like nothing's changed at all. The seam on my shoulder should have Kurisu stitching on it, but such is not the case. The stitches, uneven from having been sewn in the dark, have disappeared. There's no trace of that ridiculous pink thread. The device sitting in the development room wasn't the time leap machine. But the phone wave name subject to change. The upgrades Kurisu made are gone. Nothing's changed. This world is exactly the same. In all respects, save one. Kurisu was never here. Every trace of her is vanished. Nowhere except in my memories. Na Raboman number zero zero Yongwa Daradake. I need to ask, even though I know what the answer will be. Okari Raboman Niva zero zero Yon no Hitoa in Ayo. So the Tomo Namasura Casarete Nai Kakure member Yojo Nara Yurus. She's mine, buddy. <laughs> Back off, Daru. Yeah. I am the only person in the world who remembers Makise Kurisu as lab member 004. So I won't forget. I alone will live with her memory engraved upon my heart. Now, time to proclaim my triumph. There's still things that must be done. And many sacrifices were made to get here. But despite all that, this is my victory. I have won. Ragnarok <laughs> Oh, 
時空を操ることで完全に勝利したのだまさに俺は神に等しき存在となったそしてたどり着いたこの大いなる地平我が野望が叶う世界世界の支配構造はリセットされ混沌の未来が待つであろう And if he didn't act like this, he'd just be collapsing into tears. But even with this, I could still get a feeling of strength from him. Yeah. Like,、I、despite、don't... what a freaking emotional gut punch that was, game. No, I'm not saying anything bad, just I'm still kind of reeling from it myself. He's still being strong. Kilma is, in a lot of ways, his anchor. Kore <laughs> kosoga! Stein's a go. See? Oh no! Okari? Mo. In da yo? I freeze, utterly taken aback. Nani o eat there in da? Ore wa ima. Kare na ru shori senge wo. Date. Ima no okari. Naki da s o na kao s t e r n da mo. <笑>ねえ無理しないで前にも言ったよねマユシーはオカリンの重荷にはなりたくないってもうその口調続けなくてもいいんだよ辛いなら普通に戻ってオカリンの心をねさらけ出してもいいんだよ俺はもうマユシーのことは気にしなくていいから One wonders, you know. マユシーは大丈夫だからオカリンはねオカリンのために泣いてもいいんだからね What, if she remembers some? Doesn't seem like it? It does, but it's hard to tell if this is that or just her Being Mayushi and seeing right through、yeah, Okabe. That's what I thought it was at first. But I think it could go either way. It doesn't really matter anymore.、Anyway. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is something he's needed to do since the beginning of this entire freaking ordeal. And just like that, the mask shatters. All it took was one word from Mayuri. She saw right through me. It worked and worked with one sole purpose in mind. I even sacrificed a girl I loved. But now, thinking that I'd freed Mayuri from her fate, once more I see Kurisu's face in my mind's eye. I recall the warmth of her body, the softness of her lips, the weight of her last words. One by one, they pound against my heart. I can't bear it anymore. I <laughs> can't <laughs> Yeah, I feel you, man. I'll never see Kurisu again. That knowledge shreds my heart. This is the world I've been searching for. A world where Mayuri does not die. And yet it's missing the person most precious to me. It's too much. Why did it have to be Kurisu? Why was I forced to choose? Why was I the one to decide? Why did she send me off with a smile? I cling to Mayuri. She strokes my hair gently. I surrender to my grief. I'm not crying, you're crying. Three days have passed since then, and Mayuri is still alive. Moika and the Rounders have not attacked, and Tenoji has shown that she's about her. Uh huh,、still. yeah.、Uh, it's okay, man. It's okay. Everything. Save for the whole of my heart. <sighs> Yesterday, I was finally able to confirm that Mayuri's death has been avoided. 
はあもったいねえな IBN5100 は売ればプレミアつくのにダルー You're gonna have to trust me on this いやそれよりねラボから電子レンジがなくなっちゃったよ I'll get you a new one マユシーはもうジューシーカラーゲナンバーワンを食べられないのです。Uh, hold on. Well, it's the same thing that happened last time. Yes, that's true, but. Well, the thing was, it was still the phone wave, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, actually, I'm, I'm sorry. I realized that was confusing, but I'm not talking about that. Okay, what? The IBM 5100. Yeah, we talked about this last time, too. I understand, I understand. I'm not talking about that either. I'm not going to say what you think I'm going to say. Have I confused you yet? I'm listening. <laughs> And I'm talking. Now that we've established where we are, what does it matter what they do with the IBM 5100? If CERN gets a hold of it, what's that going to do? It ain't going to change anything. In fact, them selling it or whatever could only benefit them, especially if they're not going to continue to fight CERN, which I'm fine with, I understand. After Damon's revelation, I get it now. Well, not only that, but they are in the beta world line where CERN doesn't take over. That's true, that's true, but that doesn't mean they're not still doing bad things. Anyway, like I said, that right, doesn't matter. Right, but merely getting an extra IBN 5100 isn't going to make CERN take over. Exactly, that's kind of my point. There's no reason to destroy it, so why don't they try and use it to some benefit? As a symbolic value. I'm, mm. I, I, would, I would seriously have a discussion about it, but, I mean, this is Okabe's choice. And that's fair. I can accept that. I can I, accept like, that. what you say is all true, but I also, and I'm not so sure what I would do in this situation. I have no idea. But as a symbol of what he has been through. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I can accept that. But if you just want to gain a benefit, there is no cost to, to selling that 5100. Yeah. And normally, that's probably even what I'd recommend, but. Look, he deserves whatever closure he wants. He can have it. Yeah. He's earned it. We no longer need the phone wave, that miraculous time machine built by coincidence. Uh huh. It brought Kurisu into my life. But at the same time, it made many people suffer. It must never be used again. Not by me, not by anyone. It's time for the phone wave to die. And with it, the insane mad scientist, h o w i n g Kyoma, Lord of Space and Time, Victor over CERN. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Yeah. Like, along with that, everyone has Stein's Gate in your heart. The way it actually was said in the game was, like, excellent. This and that, those lines, I think, are pretty much, like, the most important in this game. Time travel is too much power for any human to wield. Life was never meant to be redone. And redoing it didn't even accomplish anything. Right? Redoing it made it worse. And that's fine by me. Wouldn't you say so too, Kurisu? Every night. We casually travel through time. <laughs> That's what Kurisu said. And each and every word she spoke, I carve into my heart so that I'll never let them slip from memory for as long as my life endures. <laughs> That was an excellent ending. I bet there's more. That's a good point. There was more after the last one, too. Or after the credits of the last one. I'll, I'll just stop. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I think about that ending, other than the stuff that I've already said. I mean, that was like 45 times better than the Mayuri ending. Oh, totally.
Well, this seems important. Who's this from? So, is it Kudisu? あ、あはあ。あ、何言ってんの。ウェル。あ、狼ってんのウェル。あ、狼ってんのウェル。あ、狼ってんのウェル。あ、狼ってんのウェル。あ、狼ってんのウェル。あ、狼ってんのウェル
from 2036 has to come back and kill Makise Kurisu and then they can go back. But that prevents a time paradox. Hmm, I see. Ah, uh, who knows? That makes sense. Presumably this one works and isn't the janky one that Daru built because yeah. CERN didn't conquer the world. Right. Okay, and this isn't stuck in the wall either. And you can clearly tell by looking at it that it doesn't look the same. When we were talking about how the satellite most definitely appeared on the top of Rodicon, we weren't actually looking at the structure of the thing and comparing it. We were, That's true. We were just assuming, which I think is a fair assumption. <laughs> but besides, this is the beta world line. Suzuha has no reason to travel to 2010 except, oh my god, she killed my girlfriend. Also, she shouldn't have the ability to, but shh. CERN's dystopian... <laughs> ...occurs on the Alpha World Line, which is why Suzuha told me to escape to the Beta World Line to prevent it. CERN's dystypoian... <laughs> By the way, clearly we're not surprised, okay? <laughs> because it's a freaking visual novel. This has to be what the true ending, like, this sort of stuff is there's, normal in a true ending. There's always a true ending. And most visual novels I've seen, the true ending goes bonkers! Right! And so, we knew it was coming. Come on! Now, we don't know what's in it. Oh, uh, probably Suzuha. <laughs> How observant of you, Padawan. <laughs> so, where have I seen that satellite before? Let me think back through three years of my memory <laughs> to 20 days ago. <laughs> ah, I remember every detail now. It wasn't embedded in the building, but I guess there was this weird chick who showed up on the roof of Rodicon when uh, me and Mayuri were up there and ran us off saying something about a conference. Yep. Okay, well. Oh, yeah. It was a Dr. Nakabachi's presentation. I had no reason to ever think about any of that before. You're right. Well, we t even talked about it before. There's no way reason he would have had to remember this. Yeah. Hey. Hey! <laughs> there he went. <laughs> right before the presentation started, something shook the building like an earthquake. And when I went to check the roof, the satellite was sitting there. <laughs> nice Leia hair. She's just got her braids pulled back, it's fine. No, I know. Okabe. Rintaro. She... She has to have either gotten her memories via the same reading Steiner that everyone has mm -hmm. that other that the other characters experienced or or something about this one is different maybe they well we don't know what was going to happen maybe this was always going to happen in the beta world line yeah um it could be that they knew who they were gonna meet that might be why she knew who her dad was because her dad's still alive that's true that's true She seems a little different. Maybe more well-fed. <laughs> Fewer weeds and insects, but it's definitely her. I'm really glad to see her. Me too. The part-time warrior. Devourer of bugs. Enemy of Makise Kurisu. And after all, nothing ever came of that. Is there a reason? It was brought up in the first place. John Titer. Time traveler from 2036. Daru's daughter, who will be born seven years from now. I have so many questions! Okay. So it must be something like she knew the names and the number from from another world line. No, from her future. From the oh. future. No, another world line. Well, otherwise she'd know who who he was. That's true. That's true. Oh, oh. The way she puts it makes it sound like she's never met me before, which makes sense because this Suzuha has not. Suzuwa? <laughs> this Suzuha has not! Is she really Yamane Suzuha? Yamane. You can't- don't get confused yourself! Yeah, keep, keep holding yourself, man! 
My, my mind can hardly keep up. Yeah, I know. They don't know. <laughs> Uncle Okarin. Uncle! <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> We, we don't have time to humor Mayuri's question. I know what's going on. Somebody's gonna have to fill them in later. Uh, uh oh! Yeah, don't you remember all the stuff John Titer said in the year 2000 in the place where Okarin was from? For all we knew, this was what was already going to happen. Oh my god, you're right. I'd forgotten about that. Because I didn't think that, jo that John Titer was related. It's I guess it's just that this Okabe Rintaro has knowledge of the other world lines that he went through. Yeah. As opposed to just being ho in Kyoma. But maybe she still would have contacted him anyway. What can I do? <laughs> And then Okabe Rintaro thinks to himself, I should have kept the IBM 5100. <laughs> Whoops! Amade <laughs> Suzuha! I've had the worst five years packed into two weeks. I am in no mood for this. <laughs> what if this was always what was supposed to happen? <laughs> Clearly it was. Well, I guess we're finally getting the showdown against Sir. <laughs> <laughs> what even? Yeah, time travel is really? It's not just a trip. Dozan, wait for me. I'll fill you in later, Daru. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Why is this? No, you come right back here. But how serious is this? Ah, no time machine. Ah, Mirai Hoko, you can make a future. Ah, no time machine. Ah, Mirai Hoko, you can make a future. Yeah, Daru. But if wait, wouldn't that make sense then if it could go from a one world line to another if it was perfect? Okay, we talked about something like that a long time ago and weren't able to make sense of it at the time. But what? Uh, rather, I think you're jumping a bit too far ahead. How about this? In the Beta world line. CERN does not take over the world and create a dystopia in the future. Uh huh. Instead, in the Beta World oh, line, oh, I see. There's this stuff going on. Remember, in Okabe's memory, he knew John Titer from 1975 and 2000. Yeah. This Suzuha is John Titer from 75 and 2000. He's just back where he was. Whatever it is that's going on. Has it, to do with the World War Three, not CERN taking over. Yeah, this is the Beta World line, whatever that is. Mm, okay, I'm on. I'm on page now. See, in the Alpha World line, CERN takes over the world dystopia. In the Beta World line, World War Three. They're prepping for World War Three, which who knows who it's against, or they're trying to prevent World War Three. Who knows why or what? I don't know the details. Obviously, we're about to find out. In Gamma World line, they probably get invaded. By these strange aliens who seek to turn the world into orange tang. Get in the robot, Shinji. Who? <laughs> Dude, get with the program. She doesn't know about CERN? Wait, this is a beta world line! I guess time travel gets invented regardless. Seems that way. That explains the why. Convergence points. That explains why Suzuha was able to come back without CERN taking over the world. But in that case, what reason would she have to kill Makise Kurisu? So maybe in she that didn't. in that case, maybe she didn't. So who did? That's a good question. Well, she's definitely not the Suzuha I know. So. <laughs> その戦争で人類の総人口は10億人まで減ったの。ああ、ゲンガード。ちょ、10億って、えっと、今の総人口って67億人ぐらいじゃなかったっけ？だとしたら、that's 57億人も死んだってこと？That's Ah, well, that and nobody used nuclear weapons in the Cold War, which is actually a pretty darn important difference, right? I mean, nobody ever actually fired them, right? The Soviet Union and the U.S. actually always backed down, right? So you can't just say that it was some reckless garbage flying out through the world, threatening nuclear devastation over everybody. It never freaking happened. However, that may be something that kind of triggers me when people talk like that. It was like the Cold War, except an inappropriately named one because everything was hot, sweltering, and on fire. EU and Russia have been in the process of development and the development of the EU. And then, America has been in the process of development and the development of the EU. The possibility of being able to achieve the dream of the world. What? The dream of the world. That's why Makise was killed. One of the rival factions went back in time to kill her because she would have been on America's side. Or it was Suzuha who killed her. That's possible. That's possible. I'm just saying. That's why Makise got killed. Okay, so the point is we have to stop time travel. Maybe I've got it. Since we know how to build a time machine, uh -huh. and we have a time machine uh -huh. right here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go get a microwave. Have Daru set it up. Uh huh. To like receive a signal wirelessly, for, like from a cell phone. 
and we'll put it, we'll install it nearby a 42-inch CRT TV. No. Time travel again. It's like it's important to this game and we can't get away from it. It has the power to grant your dreams and at the same time destroy everything you love. I know that better than anyone. 2036年には戦争は終結してるけど地球はボロボロもうさ人がまともに住める世界じゃないんだ。Okay, so why don't we hop back a week or two, grab uh, Makisei Kurisu, and then go back a few years and do shenanigans? I don't know, that just seems like it's asking for trouble. This is unbelievable. In the future of the Alpha World line, CERN used their time machine to fashion a dystopia where no one could oppose their rule. Suzuha traveled to the past to change that. She showed me how to escape that convergence. I guess she always is going to travel to the past to stop some big thing. Maybe, maybe not. I don't like just assuming there's convergence everywhere. Well, the game does! The result is this. The Beta World line. Here, CERN fails to complete its time machine, but instead 5.7 billion people die in the fires of nuclear war. No, he has had enough. Come on. I've got it. Gamma Ho! It's our only hope. Crap, it sucks here too. Delta! Ike! What comes after Delta in Greek? I think there's only four world line clusters, so we're kind of foobard. Uh, to be fair, she had no way of knowing. We saved Mayuri, we changed the future. And now, after everything we did, Suzuha appears before me once again to say that it wasn't enough? Yeah, 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 we got that. You don't have to repeat it to him. He has every right to just be furious. Oh, yeah! But what's she asking him for? We don't know yet. Yeah, he won't she... let her get to it. I, I mean, if I... I think he needs to just rage around. He's too busy being justifiably upset. That's right. Especially since he hasn't even really had time to grieve for Maki-sei. Yeah, like this is right at the end. あたしはここに来たの。そして過去を変えるためには他におじさんの協力が断る。俺はアルファ世界線からここに来た。<laughs> well, what now? I can't go back. Not to the world line where Mayuri dies. Not now! They can't be compared. Suzuha-san, sit down and I will tell you a, a story. And it is going to take a while and at the end you're all going to be in tears. And this is why I came here to get you. Heard about it from him. トウさんから聞いてる。それに私もオカリンおじさんとは会ったことがあるんだ。未来でね。俺とそっか。そしてそっちのアトラクタフィールドでも私は同じように2010年に来たんだね。オカリンおじさん。if Suzuha's traveling to 2010 from 2036 turns out to be a convergence point, 
What a terrible fate she has. Mm -hmm. It's the worst dang one, if you ask me. So yeah, don't worry about it right now. I mean, on the one hand, I want to start talking about some stuff, but I, I don't think it's really worth it. Not until we've gotten a little bit more of the groundwork laid. Well. That's what I was thinking. That was the first thing I said, wasn't it? Why don't we just go back a few weeks, grab Kurisu, and figure out what to do from there? I mean, they've got a time machine and go forward, too. Right? Now, that is also, like, messing everything up, but she is like, oh, yeah, so you have a weakness for this, do you? Well, to be fair, the event that triggers the Alpha World line is sending the D-mail. So if they've got a fully functional time machine, they might be able to save her without sending the D-mail, and Sir might still not be able to take over from there. It may not be Makise surviving, that leads to CERN perfecting time travel. They wouldn't really know who to go after unless they've got the proper information, you know? Yeah, it very well could be that D-mail that leads them to begin to know who to go after. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Save Kurisu? Okay, now you're talking my language. Let's do it all again! The Kurisu who was murdered on July 28th? But how? We no longer have the phone wave or the time leap machine. And even if we did, I could never leap that far back. Uh, is there something within 20 feet of my personal location that maybe I'm forgetting? By the way, where did she die again? Um, within 100 feet of my current location. Uh... Nah, don't got anything. <gasps> time machine. I can go to July 28th, save Kurisu, and return to the present. No emails, no time leaps. Genuine physical time travel. July 28th, 2010. Shortly before Kurisu was killed, I saw it standing in this very spot. As sure as it's standing before me now. Oh, were me, Mayuri, Daru, and Kurisu still in it when we went up there to see it? <laughs> now we're encroaching on Bill and Ted territory. Now? <laughs> encroaching. <laughs> I mean, actual physical, like, moving up through space, not time, whatever. Okay, there's only one thing that that can mean. I'm having a stroke. It's already been established that this time machine will appear on that day in this place. BSG were assuming that Suzua, who hates Kurisu, was going to leap out to kill Kurisu at that time. But maybe it had the future gadget lab inside. <laughs> Even before I sent the first email, my participation was assured. Even the thought of turning Suzuha down now is meaningless. Nothing is coincidence. Everything's inevitable. Then what? there was that suspicious phone call he got that we thought was some sort of time leapy whatever. You know, we haven't talked about that phone call one dang bit, have we? Uh, aside from pointing out, we did point it out when time leaping was mentioned. Because that wasn't the D-mail. Correct. It was him getting a weird signal from his phone, which is supposedly how the time leaping works. Wasn't now, it a video? Huh? Wasn't it a video? It was staticky. Yeah, but it was a video. Just to establish. Oh, you're right. It was a video. It wasn't just an audio thing. Well, anyway, we think it's related. The revelation makes me dizzy. Or maybe it's the heat. It's like I don't have the tiniest atom of free will. How far does this go? 
as if my every action from the moment of my birth was planned for me by some cosmic force. We're just gonna keep jumping from world line to world line, are we? Uh, hmm. Destroy attractor fields and restore free will to the universe. I approve. The space between? Huh. Why? So you're saying there's like these four world line clusters and then just like arranged just like it was on a die, like dice? Like that dot in the middle isn't anywhere near enough to any of the attractor fields in the clusters to be affected by them? Or maybe because it's in the center of them all that it, it actually is maybe this weird that... sort of like... Uh, maybe equilibrium. Like the, maybe like the cosmic gravity of the world line clusters are stronger than the world line in the middle, and so that's why the clusters are around them and not it. Isn't this kind of similar to two Kerr black holes? Like the gravity of them pulling on the space in the middle? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Ah! <laughs> you don't say! But that's the toony name I pulled out of my ass. It doesn't even mean anything. It was named by Okabe Rinta. Yeah, of course it was. That's a good question. だから道なわけで。でも、シュタインズゲートのダイバージェンスは、お父さんとオカリンおじさんとで、すでに割り出されてるよ。What is it? Zero? One even? 相対値で、ここからマイナス0.081609%。But isn't the negative world line? No, that was negative one. No, 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 this is relative to the current world line. We're at like 1.13 blah bitty blah bitty blah bitty. Mm, mm. So the rel relative to this, it would, would put that, that absolute number that we're used to from the divergence meter that we actually have had access to, it would put it at like 1.05 or 1.049. Okay, something. okay. It, it's a specific point. Huh. The power of the math. その世界線に到達するために必要な条件がクリスの救出。Maybe they have to do weird things until the divergence comes out exactly at the number they want. Just keep changing anything. Anything. It doesn't even matter what they're changing until it comes out the way they need it to. How scientific. 第3次世界大戦を回避する鍵なんだよ。Oh, there you go. You already know that? I mean, that's that's just really convenient if that's the case. How do they know, though? How would she know? Well, I understand it from the previous Daru world line. and Okabe must have told her somehow. How would they know? Well, they calculated freaking Stein's Gate world line. But how would they know that Kurisu is what was necessary for that? Um, he's asking that question. Your face is asking that question! That is what asks the questions, yes. え?なぜクリスなんだ確かにクリスは天才少女だが、あいつが57億人を救う英雄だって言うのか? It's just something she heard from Mr. Pappy and Uncle Oki. Uncle Oki! So another thing it could be is future Okabe could just be like, just tell him this is going, this will save the world so he will help you. That could be it, yeah. It seems like that's what he's suspicious of. It's effective though. 
It'll work, right? He would know. <laughs>あたしはどうさんのたてた計画通りに動いているだけ。その計画元はオカリンおじさんが立案したらしいんだけど。Right。He <laughs> well, guess now is the time when fueling his ego isn't going to produce results, but どうしてまた激なんだ? Okay, so he still dies then. Conversions, or is it slightly off? I don't remember the date from, from the Alpha World line. だから真相はわからない。父さんはオカリンおじさんの意思を継いで、この計画を実行するために、たった一人でタイムマシンを作り上げた。He's still alive though. Well, that's my super hacker. オカリンおじさん、その世界線、シュタインズゲートは未知っていうぐらいだから。どんな未来が待っているのか誰も知らない。もしかしたら第三次世界大戦が終結した後でディストピアが構築されるかもしれない。もしかしたらマキセクリスはオカリンおじさんが助けた2日後とかに死んじゃうかもしれない。But this is a world where nobody has determined the future and no attractor fields and cruel fate, etc., etc. Or one that hasn't been determined yet, for there are no attractor fields. It's, it's interesting that what it's apparently saying is, you know, seek out this place where you determine the future, not fate. Which sort of makes sense in a game about decisions and the impact of those decisions and the, the, the possibilities that you cut off by making those decisions. And seems to kind of say, like, determinism sucks. I can, get, does suck. I can get behind that. Yeah. Well, there's two definitions of determinism. Um, the one we're talking about sucks. Yes. Uh, the other one's about cause and effect. I'm not talking about that one. もしかしたら、オカリンおじさんは2025年じゃなくて1週間後に死んじゃうかもしれない。でも同時に、もしかしたら、2036年になるまで。第三次世界大戦も起きないしディストピアも構築されないかもしれないマキセクリスも他の誰も死ななかもしれない素晴らしい未来が待っているかもしれない私がいた2036年でもなくアルファ世界線が私がいた2036年でもなくなるのは確か
Kurisu. How I've dreamt of saving her. I'd do anything, anything to change her fate. Well, here is that anything. Why am I saying no? Right? But how do I know that this invitation won't lead me into another maze of despair? I bet Daru is like, wait a minute. Uh -huh. You're telling me that this guy who always calls himself ho o in kyoma and talks about how super special, awesome, amazing, powerful he is, was right? <laughs> he wasn't just bluffing? He was telling the truth? Uh, and I get to be pretty dang awesome too? And I have a hot daughter. If I have a hot daughter, genetics must mean I have a hot wife. Because she certainly doesn't take after me. Huh. <laughs> So I'm awesome, my friend is awesome, I get hooked up with a hot chick and have an awesome daughter? Life, life is awesome! This is great! Sign me up if he won't! でもね、そのマキセさんっていう人は、オカリンにとっては大事な人だったんでしょ? Mayushi cutting to the heart of the matter. At cutting my own heart. See. だったら頑張るべきだよ、オカリ。57億人救えるかどうかってのは、ちっとも想像できないけどな。ごちゃごちゃ細かいことはいいから、その女の子を助けることだけ考えればいいんじゃね。そうすれば、モテキ到来確定
Touche. Chinami is a time machine. Fatalino is okay. No, 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 <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I'm sure he will come back. Alright, so the game didn't end right there. <laughs> I was wondering the way the way the music was playing and setting everything up that the way you explained your your take on it it would have made sense and you know I probably would have been okay with that I think I would have the viewpoint that you presented yeah but it doesn't look like that's the case well sweet now for the crazy insane bonkers true ending route yes you way